Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will be covering HTML heading elements, HTML paragraph element, and text formatting in HTML. So before we start with these topics, first we will try to know what is HTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. So this is a standard markup language for designing the web pages. So you can build your own website using HTML. HT in HTML, we have so many elements. So each element is having two things. One is an opening tag and another one is closing tag. So some examples are given here like H1. This is the opening tag and this is your closing tag. So this is known as a heading element. In the second example, we have a link. So don't worry about these things now. We are going to learn these things in the upcoming lessons. So here this is called as an anchor tag and every element will be having certain attributes. Like here it is having hyper reference attribute and target attribute. The attribute will be having some values. So here the values are not given. You are going to learn about the attributes and the values of an element in the upcoming lessons. So the third example is an image element which is having source attribute, height and width attributes. So this is a brief introduction about HTML. So next we are going to study regarding the elements starting with heading tag. There are six heading tags in HTML starting from H1 to H6. There is a code given here. In the previous video, we have learned that whatever we want to display in the web page will be written inside the body tag. So in the body tag, you can see here all the heading tags have been used. Now we will write this code in a text editor and we will try to know how to execute the HTML code in a browser there are many editors available to write the html code like notepad notepad plus plus sublime text vs code and so on i will be using vs code in my videos so let's start first create a new file before writing the code, save the file and you should be remembering the location where you have saved your file. I am going to save it in F drive in a new folder and I am going to give the name as HTML. Inside that I am going to save it as heading dot html so you should remember each html file is saved with a dot html extension save it now you can see it as heading dot html and when you hover through it it is showing the location also so in vs code to get the structure of html simply use exclamation then say enter it will give you the whole structure of HTML. The title tag will give you the title of your web page. I will say it as heading tags. Okay. Now we will execute this. So, how to execute now? So, go to the browser and you are going to enter the path the path is f colon slash the file name html slash heading dot html enter so you can see here I didn't write anything in the body tag that's why the web page is empty but I, I have changed the title tag you can see here the title tag is there it is heading tags 
now you are going to write something in body so i want to display a heading that is welcome to html so use h1 tag say welcome to html save it once you have executed there is no need to write the path again and execution you can simply reload it so you can see the file is executed so this is the size of a h1 tag so now we will check for the last tag that is h6 tag i will say goodbye reload you can see the difference between the h1 and h6 okay this is about headings the next we will discuss about paragraph tag that is p tag i have copied some content so i will paste it here then save it let's see what will happen go to browser reload it so you can see that content has been displayed now i will again use paragraph tag paste the content so it will go to a new paragraph so like this we are going to use the paragraph tag and also we can format the text like if you want to make a text bold italic underline so that can be done here so what i will do is first i will remove these two paragraphs so i will say my name is i want name should be displayed in bold so i will use b tag it is called bold tag so i will say name maktum so now when i go and reload it you can see my name is in normal text whereas maktum is in bold text i want it to be underlined so you are going to use u tag stands for underline so now again you write the name now with bold it will be underlined you can see here is underlined now i want to make it highlighted so for highlighting the text we have a tag called as mark tag so mark tag will make it highlighted so you can see here maktum is highlighted so these are some tags so there are some more tags like for example if you are writing a chemical equation you want to write co2 where 2 is a subscript so how you are going to write it so you are going to say c o there is a tag called as sub tag so you are going to say the number sub 2 so now we are going to check what will happen so you can see 2 has been subscripted this is one thing and uh, you want to write mathematical equations then you can say x superscript is there to it will become x square so you can check here it is x square so these are the two more tags that is subscript tag and superscript tag so so this is the end of the video in this video we have studied what is html html heading elements html paragraph element text formatting in html so i hope you liked this video if you liked it so please give likes comments and subscribe thank you